Hey folks, it's IOE Thrower back. This time we're gonna do some tales from the pizza guy. This is a subreddit and it's gonna be a little wall of texty. So I'm gonna hopefully do some cool stuff in post and make this look a little more interesting than just you guys staring at a wall of text. So first post we're gonna dive right into is a little short one. It's just called I busted a kid while making prank orders. I had a delivery for two 20 inch pizzas and wings. The order was $55. I get to the house and the whole family's outside. The daughter stopped me and said they didn't order any pizza and had actually received numerous fake orders to their house in the last few days. They were real that nice and wanted to fi find out who it was, so I gave them the name and number on the ticket and went back to the store. I tried calling the number from the, from the store, but got no answer. I felt bad for the family and was a little pissed that this kid wasted my time. So I called for my cell phone just to see what would happen. And the kid answered. I told him I'm from the pizza place and he made a fake order I need to pay. He was like, aw. Laughed at me and hung up. I was so mad and bored. So I tried Googling his name to get a name or an address but couldn't find anything. I decided to try and scare him. So I sent him a text text, saying if he didn't call and pay, the cops would be at his house in a little bit. It worked. His sister called back crying, saying, please don't send the police. Their parents will pay when they get home from work, and she'll make sure her brother gets in trouble. Later that day, his parents called and paid for the food. And I'm pretty sure that kid won't be making any more prank orders after this. Also, as a side note, <laughs> OP got free pizza and wings as this whole thing. So now, over to the second one. The second one's going to be a little long, but it's so worth it, okay? So this is a little bit of pro, pro Revenge mixed in with Tales from the Pizza Guy. And Pro Revenge is a subreddit I'm going to cover at some point because I love it. But for right now, we're just sticking with... This, uh, I got some nice revenge on a crappy customer who never tips. Greg. Mmm, Greg. So I work at a, at a pizza place as a delivery driver, and we have this one customer that everyone hates to go to because he always pays an exact change. No tip. Ever. Okay, as a side note, always tip your pizza, guys. It's not worth it, and it's good manners, and they get paid pittance anyway. If you are got enough money to order pizza, you have enough money to tip or don't order pizza. Or anything else lowered. Okay. Uh, back to the story. If the driver doesn't have the change he wants, he will call the store and demand the driver bring back his 50 cents. Wow. He's done this multiple times. <laughs> also, er, sorry, let me also mention that Greg is very well off. He lives in a half million dollar house and drives a $50,000 truck. Okay, this happened during a blizzard, of course. Greg orders a pizza. Nothing special, but his total was $15.11. And I draw the short straw and have to take it to him. It's about three inches of snow and still snowing. I get to his house and ring the bell. At this point, I take his pizza out of the insulated bag. I want it to get cold, and, but everything turned out much better than I could have hoped for. He takes forever to get to the door. When he finally gets there, he hands me $13 in cash and a handful of change. In the process, he drops a dime. I count up everything and I have exactly fifteen dollars and one cent. Ten cents short. That dime. At first he asks if I can cover it for him. And I'm like, I'm not gonna pay ten cents on my pocket for your pizza. If it was any other customer, I probably would have. It's only ten cents. But for Greg? He starts blaming me for dropping it. He he dropped it. Again, I say no. And he will have to find another dime, or find, or sorry, he will have to find the dime or get another. 
At this point, the, f the piece is already getting cold. It's well below freezing out here. He starts kicking around the snow on his porch, looking for the dime. <laughs> I spot the dime right away, but keep quiet. All the while, he is muttering about how I dropped it and how I should be the one paying for it. I try my best to heat the high migraine. <laughs> about five to, or three or five minutes later, I'm starting to get cold, and the pizza might as well have just come out of a fridge. I tell him I'm, I'm timed on these orders, because I am, and that he should go inside and get the money. He, of course, claims he has no more, mo no more money and starts to sob a story about him not having any money. So I give him back his money and I leave. I told him if he finds his dime, they should call the store and we'll bring him his pizza. I know he has money, so I just pull around the corner and call the store to tell my manager what happened. During the call, Greg calls the store saying he has found his money. Or he has his money. And I get back to the house, pull the pizza out again, go back to his door. He hands me all the money and I make sure to count it slowly. It's all there. I ask him if he found it in the snow. And he said, nope, I just got more out of the house. Wow. <laughs> wow. Right? That, that is why you don't treat your pizza folks badly. The pizza delivery driver, you treat them well because that is your food they're holding. And I mean, they could accidentally do so many things to it. Just, just tip them well. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so now a short and sweet one to finish this all up and... This is by far the best story I have ever heard about pizza delivery. And it is epic. You need to hear this. So, the title is, We've been calling for an hour and the pizza still hasn't arrived. Okay, that sounds bad, but you know. Uh, no, it says, We get a call saying, it's been an hour and the pizza still hasn't arrived. I'm trying to edit that round in, in post. <laughs> so I'm working as a pizza maker at a tiny independent pizza shop in Nor New Orleans. And the delivery driver is a six foot six Lithuanian basketball player who's supposed to be on a basketball scholarship, but he has had some troubles with the NCAA over a few exhibition games that he may have gotten paid for. So he's delivering pizzas in a clapped out ghetto shed instead of going to college. We send him out on a run for three nearby deliveries, and after about 30 minutes of, of him being out, the customer from the third house calls to complain that the pizza hasn't arrived yet. So I call the first house, and they're like, the pizza came just fine. I call the second house, and they're like, yep, pizza just arrived. So I figure he had car, car problems, and I'll go find him. So I drive over to the second house and follow the logical route towards the third. And I'm almost there when I see this giant of a man running at a dead sprint down the middle of the road with a pizza bag held up over his shoulder like a waiter. I pulled up beside him and without, yet, without stopping he yells, Must deliver pizza! Around the corner and up to the customer's house. And when he got done I found out that his car had failed after the first house and he decided to run about three miles with several pizzas rather than mess around looking for a phone best delivery driver we ever had talk about customer service this guy I mean I don't know about you but I can dead sprint for like 50 feet and then I'm gonna be on the ground in a ball trying not to die. I mean, that's partly asthma, but it's partly the fact that I'm very out of shape. <laughs> I'm assuming you people who are in shape could dead sprint for a couple hundred feet. Maybe even 500 if you're really good at it. This guy dead sprint for three miles! Or, I mean, even if he... Even if he just, like, gave it a boost to get to that final house... He still ran three miles to deliver pizza. 
all the while holding pizza above his head so that it wouldn't slosh around and it wouldn't, you know, get all deformed. And so he did it so well that the first two houses didn't even notice. Well, I guess the second house didn't even notice that he didn't arrive in a car. That is epic. Yep. That is definitely the pe best pizza delivery story I've ever read. And, uh, yeah. That is epic. Okay, so this is going to wrap up this session of Reddit. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Tales from the Pizza Guy. There's definitely some other ones in here I want to read out to you guys. And uh, hopefully I can solve the wall of text problem in uh, the uh, in post. But for right now, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This IOE throughout.